ask that you just say your name, your real age, or if you don't want to say your real age, right. then say whatever you want to be and say that it's not true. Okay. <laughs> All right. My name is Lee Patterson, and I'm 23, but I'm dyslexic. <laughs> My name is Stacy Cunningham. I'm 20. So I can ask name, age, what you do? I mean, we'll leave age out of it. Okay, just name just and what you do. Name and who she is, I think is more. Okay, great. I've always been a bit obsessed with age. I'm 22 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I would consider old, like, 28. I think, I mean, or once you're past that age, I think you want to continue to look 28. Look at look how young I was there. You ripped. And so young. I was like 24. Just all kinds of things I put myself through. Was it hard then? Yeah. Hmm. When I was five, I cried about leaving kindergarten. I knew things would never be the same. At 13, I bought my first wrinkle concealer. And as a high school senior, I wrote my college essay about how my biggest fear was turning into an old person. How do you like this? Comedy show. Peaking. Oh, great. <laughs> you want to hear what I'd like to say to you, think? Yeah. I wrote for two pages about being afraid of turning into my grandparents. Old, invisible, forgotten, and alone. My teacher suggested I change my topic. But where did this obsession come from? Well, I have some ideas. I am the daughter of a plastic surgeon. For 30 years, my dad was a plastic surgeon in Detroit, Michigan. When I was little, my brother and I would play monkey in the middle with silicone implant bags. Little did we know that it was things like this that would put a roof over our head, get us a bigger house, send us on vacation, and put us through college. This is a patient I did a breast reconstruction on after a carcinoma, she's about a 75-year-old lady. And one day she brought this in. And she says, here, you take a doctor. This is a present for you. But, you know, I guess the only thing that keeps us going, isn't it, is uh, if we can get a sense of humor out of life. I guess that's the reason that Dante uh, named it the Divine Comedy, when actually it's a tragedy, isn't it? The story of uh, sort of the tragedy of the human condition. Looking back at this now, it seems like the innocent days. Today, the American anti-aging industry is a $60 billion year business, and it's everywhere.